Alright, 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 it's Jared here from Crypto Plan. How is everyone going? I hope everyone had a great Easter. I hope that uh, everyone spent a lot of time with the family, ate a lot of chocolate, and uh, if not, just had some relaxing vibes going on. We've had a fair bit of action in the crypto market. I've been watching the charts on my phone all weekend, desperate to make a video, but I thought, you know, I'm just going to leave it. Family is the most important thing, and that's what we're doing all of this for. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to just continue with the vibe and ask you to like the video straight away if you do enjoy the content. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, if you like the chart analysis and you want to keep up to date with breakouts and moves and patterns and learning a bit about um, technical analysis. And uh, click that not notification bell if you want all of that um, coming to you on the spot with a message, with a notification. So going to get straight into it. Um, the title of the video, like I said, should I go all in on one? Should you go all in on one? I've done my recent greedy targets video and the more I thought about it, I'm like, there's a couple of altcoins that I follow that are super, super bullish. Now, the only one is the one for me that I'm, I'm holding is, is Harmony One. And I'm like, well, why am I kind of gambling with all these little side trades, trying to make a 2X here, a 3X here to pull it back into something to, to run at the bull run? Why don't I just go all in and bugger it and just roll all my trades in, all my smaller baskets in and trade them all in for Hathor and ride it out and then kind of take profits at the end. So I nearly did that the other day. I nearly kind of did that stupid trader thing where I was like, acted on my gut and just did it now it could be the fact that i should have done it uh but there's still a chance to do it because the beautiful thing is that harmony one is still going sideways in its retracement and i guess what i need to decide is that okay so if i go all in on one at 15 cents i've probably got um and let's let's just do it that's what we're here is just to kind of not guess to actually, so we've got a, a 7x, you know, to our $1, $1.30 target that I'm kind of saying that is an, is an achievable, manageable one. And, you know, in the comments, we're seeing that, yeah, because everyone's seeing this $1 target, it's probably a self-fulfilling prophecy. And, you know, you might see another sideways move and, and a longer grind before it breaks out to its next all-time high. So thinking that we've got a 7x, um, do we go all in now and go bugger it? You know, all these other ones like, um, you know, Cake and Reef and Band and Dent, you know, that I'm taking these gambles on. Do I just put everything into that and go bugger it? I'm not playing the game anymore. I'm going to focus everything on one. And the reason why I didn't is, and luckily I didn't, is that because Dent has just broken out. There's a chance that Band will break out before Harmony 1. There's a chance that Cake will break out again before Harmony 1. So I was like, don't do it now. Don't be irrational. Just stick to the original plan when you get... 2x 3x of a coin roll them back into something that you're super long term about so that's what i've done and that's what i'm doing so i think the plan is between harmony harmony and hathor um which i do believe is in a, a longer accumulation as well um and can go much higher um i'm kind of probably going to split the profits from many of these smaller trades and put them into harmony and hathor um, because i've already doubled down on my bag of dash um, by rolling some of my V-Chain into Dash, which has been a good move because that's kind of performed better than V-Chain in the last uh, two weeks, which is good. And um, yeah, I've just got my big bag of XRP sitting there waiting to do its thing. And it's good to see that that's actually had some love on the charts today. Um, you know, naturally, I've been talking about um, XRP. It just had to kind of grind its way into the corner of that triangle um, and break out to the upside because we're in the bull in the bull run, right? So that's that's that. And um, the rest of them, uh, the rest of the ones I own, like ZRX, um, EOS, uh, are on Revolut. So they're just kind of tradable within that app. So um, they're all just going to be cashed out into. Uh, 
into euros when that happens so um they're not ones that i'd be rolling into uh because there's kind of two two or three portfolios things spread around i think i'm going to do a video after this and i hope that everyone's keen on that just to kind of really look at my portfolio and look how diversified it's become not not that it's diversified into many many markets and industries but diversified within crypto diversified across platforms across exchanges um and you know also that kind of some of that mining um stock stuff that i've got going Going on just to show you how you know how i think it's important to kind of have everything spread everywhere because if you had all of your crypto only on one exchange and only one on ramp and one off ramp that's a very kind of that to me that's risky you know i'd rather have two or three on ramps and off ramps um for all these kind of trades just to you know if one fails at least you've got two two as a backup right um, so that's that. But anyway, we'll get into Harmony One and the reason why um, I'm super bullish on it and going to roll everything into it. So uh, one is that, <laughs> and we keep saying one, is that we're in a consolidation and everybody keeps like, well, not everybody. There's a lot of people starting to get fearful of it now, which is good for me. Because I think that once that little bit of fear comes in and people in comments are saying, oh, it's crashed, it's crashed. It hasn't crashed because this is our range. Um, this is our range. We've seen the range. And if anyone's watching my stuff, um, every time it taps the bottom edge of that range, to me, it's a buying opportunity. Like I say, I don't have any fiat left to actually buy it uh, because I'm fully leveraged, uh, fully in the market. Um, but like I say, I can trade into it at any time. And like I say, right now is a perfect time to be trading into Harmony. If you've got anything that's ran 100% or 200% and Harmony has gone down 30 or 40%, that's the perfect kind of trade, the cross trade. One's gone up, one's gone down. So you've got that max, maximum kind of, uh, what's the word? I don't even know what the word is. But yeah, the, the maximum kind of percentage move there, right? It always had the right to retest this 14 cents and it kind of broke a little bit through. It could actually get down closer to 14 cents. It actually probably has every right to tap 12.99 there or 13 cents again because that was kind of that bullish reach up in the last consolidation, right? So this is what happens is kind of things move up and then they go up and then they close gaps, you know, so they say, I want to go up really high and then I want to kind of go full circle around and then I want to make a move again. So that's what happens with this. You can look at multiple charts um, to, to prove out this theory, but this is what happens, you know, um, sometimes worse than others, you know, sometimes it kind of goes up and straight back down. Um, you know, but this this one it has stayed bullish and it's kind of had tested high, 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 high. It looked like it was going up, but I think that's kind of actually a bearish sig signal in a way. Um, you know, if if you were if you were to see this kind of pattern in a bear market, that's like a bear flag, right? So it's 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 looking like it's going up, but kind of like at the same time, volume's decreasing. Um, and, you know, especially on this move, um, starts to get a little bit red, gives us the signal that it wants to go lower and then it breaks the, breaks the channel. Right. So, um, like I said, it's not, it's not a bearish thing in, uh, in the bull market because we know that like essentially money is flowing into crypto and one harmony is a, a very talked about, very popular token. Um, so it just, it just said to me that when when I saw those kind of high, 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 I was like the last videos. And when it was a fake out, I was like, it, it probably will test 14 cents again. It did. And it's tested it again. So maybe that's carved the bottom. Um, I'm not going to try and call it, you know, like I say, it's got every right to retest this again, you know, um, 14 cents, you know, somewhere, maybe even this kind of split in the day there, uh, 13 and a half cents. So just kind of keep, Keep your eyes and your ears out. Um, set your your limit orders if that's what you're into, because um, there's some there's definitely some buying opportunities here. Uh, you know, because I think the next the next actual move is going to be fairly explosive. Because if you see after it did this longer consolidation over here, down in the bottom here, uh, throughout February for a couple of weeks, it just kind of really went up, 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 up. So. If, you know, if we're looking at kind of doing that, um, 
you know, 10x again. Um, we're easily going to be testing our dollar thirty. Uh, I don't think necessarily we're going to run a ten x like that. The the bigger the market cap of the project, the the less percentage gains in each move, right? So, but there is that still that parabolic blow off top that I talk about um, that is possible um, when you know everybody's throwing their fiat currencies out of the water. I mean, out of the door wherever they can, thinking that it's all going to go to zero. Um, and then it doesn't actually go to zero because everyone sells while they're buying and blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's kind of, that's, you know, there is that situation where uh, there is a higher percentage move at the very end. And sometimes um, some of the traders I follow talk about this idea is that like um, 90% 90, 90 of the gains are in the last 10% of the move. Um, you know, like they talk about that in silver a lot, you know, that, It'll grind its way, grind its way, and then all of a sudden it will go from, you know, fifty dollars to one hundred and eighty dollars, and then back down to fifty dollars. You know, and it's like, whoa, was that? You know, what happened? Where? How did that happen? Kind of thing. Mm, just having a drink of coffee there. Um, yeah, so that's that's the plan. Um, waiting, watching, doing nothing basically at the moment. Um, super keen to see if another day or two dent has a run. Um, because yeah like it if it does this move again up there kind of up to kind of say 30 35 cents i think yeah that's when i'll be going yep that was a good little trade uh got in there in the dip here and pull out before the next kind of accumulation um band has been a bit slower but i think because of that the move will be a lot more bullish um i'm not sure if I will hold on to that one or not, uh, just kind of, I like the pro I like the idea of the oracles and the project, and um, it seems solid, solid earth than say say a dent there. So anyway, um, reef I probably would have maybe sold half of it already if I wasn't uh, have having it on pancake swap there earning me cakes. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's kind of still doing nothing. But once again, longer consolidation, tie to the spring, hold the volleyball down and things can pop out. Um, some people are starting to get scared about game credits. Um, I don't know why it's completely normal uh, what it's doing. Uh, yeah, so 29 cents. It has every right to tap that 29 cents again forming a triangle bull flag long flagpole triangular pennant um grind its way into there and then it makes the next leg up so you know when when you when i'm saying next target is uh 90 to 180 cents it's not that i expected it to get there on this move i'm saying that in the next move and if you listen and learn in the videos the longer it grinds that way the closer it is for that move to reach up to uh, 180 190 kind of thing uh, based on the fact that this could potentially be an upper support line based on these kind of peaks here one two three four touches right so i'm not saying it can't go through that line and and hit 180 anytime before that i'm just saying that this is kind of the range it's giving us you know it's kind of grinding its way into the corner here and then bang I think that's you know then it's going to do the last leg and push on to all-time highs and hopefully beyond all-time highs um so we're going to leave that there tell me in the comments if you are as bullish as me on one harmony and nearly thinking about going all in or are you just going to sit back and you know just keep diversified I think I'm glad I didn't make the move I, I like how diversified I am I like having some one harmony knowing that's doing so well and it kind of is propping up some of the other part of the portfolio but everything has their turns and you can see that xrp is moving you can see that dash has moved you know even omg you know people say omg is a shit coin it's moved it's moved like a hundred percent in in a, in a week or so you know so everything gets their turn you know and all these ones that like to the moon it's never going to stop can i know to 50 they're always going to stop because they uh have to stop you know like there always has to be in price discovery there always has to be some resistance where you know if it's the full extension of the fibonacci traders come in and go oh that's it i'm out you know i'm not willing to risk it any further and that's when the consolidations occur and the tug of war between bulls and bears anyway 
please like, please subscribe, please comment. I'm loving the comments and um, I'll chat you on the next one. Bye for now.